Good everyone, you're watching Rate Your Fixes. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to fix in case if your Windows freezes when you are doing an Alt tab. Now, this issue would occur especially when you're trying to play in your games in your Windows. So, when you're trying to uh, toggle between your games and the normal Windows application using an Alt tab, the Windows would freeze. Now, there are a couple of ways to go ahead and fix this issue. Now, the first thing what you will have to do is you will have to go ahead and disable the hardware accelerated CPU uh, GPU scheduling feature. Now to do this, you will have to do a right click on the start button and then click on settings. Once you're on the settings page, you will have to go ahead and click on system. Once you're on the system information file a window on the right hand side, you would see a display, click on display, scroll down a bit or scroll down to the extreme bottom and look for graphics. Under graphics, you will see an option which says change default graphics settings. Click on it. Now, in case if this option is being uh, turned on, you will have to go ahead and turn it off or disable the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling feature in your windows. Once you turn this feature off, you will have to close this window, restart the computer and check if your issue has been resolved. If your issue has been resolved well and good, you don't have to try the next step. Now, in spite of trying this step and if you're still facing a problem, the next step is to go ahead and run the SFC scan on your computer to make sure that um, there are no corrupt files or DLL files in your uh, Windows. So running an SFC scan will try to run a scan and repair the DLL files which are gone bad. So to run the SFC scan, uh, what you will have to do is you will have to open the command prompt on your computer so by typing cmd or you can type command prompt as a best match you will see the command prompt here you will have to click on run as administrator in case if you get a user access control prompt you may click on yes or continue on the screen once you have the command prompt open, you will have to go ahead and type the command which says sfc space forward slash scan now and hit enter. Now what this will do is this will go ahead and try to run a scan and it will begin the system scanning process and uh, and it will uh, start verifying um, the system scan. So there are a couple of phases which you will have to wait uh, for them to complete. Once this is done, uh, what you need to do is you will have to go ahead and restart your computer. Once you restart the computer, um, you can go ahead and try to launch the game and check if your issue has been resolved. In case if your issue has been resolved, well and good, you don't have to try the next step. Now, the next step is to go ahead and revert to the old tab system. Now, to try this step, you will have to make some registry changes. And I would request you to be uh, careful while you're making uh, registry changes in your computer. Now, to start begin this step, uh, what you will have to do is first thing you will have to open the registry editor. So in the search window, you can go ahead and type reg edit. The best match you will find as registry editor. Click on it. You might get a user access control prompt. You may click on yes or continue on the screen. Now, once you're once you have the registry editor, uh, what you can do is you can go ahead and uh, maximize this window. And again, uh, I, I want to I want to be very cautious while working on the registry editor, just in case if you make any changes to the incorrect registry entries or delete any registry entries accidentally there are high chances that your computer might go to a no boot mode so the first thing uh, what you will have to do is um, you have to make sure your registry and edi editor is in uh, this state so that you can see computer and all these uh, sub keys here under computer now you will have to go to navigate to hk current user so you can click on the arrow here that will take you to the hk current user from HK current user, you will have to look for software. Under software, you will have to navigate to Microsoft. It would be in alphabetical order. Expand Microsoft and look for Windows. Expand Windows. Under Windows, you will have to look for current version. 
expand current version and then you would find the folder or the registry key which says explorer now under this what you will have to do is you will have to go ahead and create a registry under this section so you will have to do a right click on the start button and then click on new and select the option which says a d word 32 bit value and here you will have to go ahead and type the uh, text as alt tab settings i will also mention this text in the video description you can copy it from here so make sure you type the text as is so alt tab settings so a l t t a b settings with a t and s in uppercase and hit enter once this is done uh, what you will have to do is you will have to do a double click on alt tab settings and here you will have to change the value from 0 to 1 and click on ok once it is done you may go ahead and close the registry editor and um, then restart your computer which is must because after making any registry entries you will have to go ahead and restart the computer once you restart the computer check if your issue has been resolved this should ideally fix the problem and um, it should uh, take care of it in case if your issue has been resolved well and good um, in case if you're still facing a problem as a next step what i would suggest you to do is i would suggest you to go ahead and check for the windows update now uh, there is an update that the uh, windows uh, version 22h2 is fixed the problem now just to make sure you have the uh, right windows update uh, make sure um, you go ahead and check for the updates how do you do it you can do a right click on the start button and then click on settings once you're on the settings you may go ahead and click on windows update once you click on windows update check for the updates now in case if there are any available updates go ahead and install those updates and restart the computer once you restart the computer check if your issue has been resolved it should resolve this issue in case if you're still facing a problem I would suggest you to leave me a comment in the comment section so that I can come up with a possible solution. I hope this video was useful. In case if you like this video, please make sure to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Have a great day.